Well, hi everyone, Sean Humphreys here. Welcome to All Things Retirement. Well, in this installment, we're going to talk about a major aspect of retirement planning that has nothing to do with your finances directly, but will have a huge impact on your experience of your retirement planning transition. So I think you'll enjoy this video. Now, if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit subscribe. We're posting content all the time on various aspects of retirement income planning, as well as wealth planning. And if you go to the show notes, there's some links to some complimentary planning resources. I'd encourage you to take a look at those links. Now, let's take a look at this major planning component. Now, when you think about retirement, we often think about the financial aspects of generating income and investing our money and generating income tax effectively, maybe our investment portfolio or our legacy planning. But one aspect that should stand right beside all those financial issues is the notion of transitions. How are we going to handle the emotional and psychological aspect of the retirement transition? And many retirees share after the fact that they found the transition very difficult. Now, some people breeze through it, other people don't. And so we're going to talk about how you can navigate this transition, at least get prepared for it. From the book by William Bridges titled Transitions. Now, William Bridges says in that book that there are three stages of transitions, and those stages are the ending, losing, or letting go stage, the neutral stage, and the new beginning stage. So the first idea or takeaway from this video is just recognize that you will experience some degree of psychological or emotional dissonance when you go through this transition. And that shouldn't be surprising at all because we've all had to negotiate transitions, whether it's uh, marriage, or kids or new career, there is that combination of we go from something into a new thing and there is a period of time in that neutral zone where we feel a little bit out of sorts, it's all new, we don't feel comfortable and we're kind of negotiating our way into that new reality. So I mean that's not a new concept, all of us have had to negotiate transition and change. And retirement, although it has some exciting features about a new beginning for sure, it also has these legacy issues that we have to be mindful of because retirement's all encompassing. It has an impact on relationships, our sense of purpose and meaning, how we handle our scheduling, uh, even our existing relationships can be impacted. And then not the least of which, of course, uh, the financial aspects. So I'm gonna give you an example of what I've experienced with clients that have retired. And it's an aspect to their finances. And so people leading up to the retirement will be accumulating money, they're saving money to the portfolio, and they're working towards this accumulation of assets for that retirement journey. They eventually get to that journey beginning. And now all of a sudden they go from accumulating assets to deaccumulating some of those assets to supplement pensions or other sources of income. That is a huge psychological shift. Now, at an analytical level, they knew they would be doing that. But at a psychological or emotional level, they feel a little bit insecure when they do it. Now, one of the ways that financial advisors can help clients with that issue is through using financial modeling and coaching conversations where we sit down, we look at the financial impacts, we build in some conservative assumptions and help the client to confirm that they're not putting themselves in jeopardy by taking money out of their portfolio. And again, that could be an ongoing discussion that may not be settled emotionally or psychologically the first time in their minds, but there is a reality that that transition is going to happen. So what I'd like to do is talk about those three aspects of the transition in a little more detail. So when we talk about those three phases, of course, the neutral zone is probably the one that creates the most chaos. So as I mentioned before, we're renegotiating a whole bunch of things in our life. So we talked about this, your schedule, your relationships, your sense of purpose and time. You're trying to find your footing in terms of this new reality. Now you will find it, but you're going to have to be patient and you're going to have to work away at it. There will be a period of time. Like I said, for some people, it is going to be very short and they're going to transition into retirement very successfully, very quickly. And for other people, it's going to take a while. And it may be a long-term transition. So I'll give you a good example. Some people will transitioned in retirement, but they won't be fully retired. So their negotiation is, I'm going to work part-time, I'm going to do some consulting work, and then eventually I might transition into this full retirement journey. All of us have different ways of negotiating this change or retirement transition, but you just need to focus on how am I going to handle it? What are the challenges I need to be aware of? Again, I'd encourage you to get the book, uh, Transitions by William Bridges. 
He'll talk about the ending, losing, and letting go phase, the neutral phase, and of course the new beginning phase. Uh, it's well worth your time wrestling with this because uh, psychologically, emotionally, you don't want to be blindsided by some surprises because you didn't go through some exercises and contemplation about what this transition is going to mean for you. And then you can build a bit of a hierarchy. Okay, what do we need to do practically to renegotiate relationships? What do we need to do practically to envision how I'm going to use my time? What are specific things that I can do to cultivate a sense of meaning and purpose in my life? Those are just a few examples. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you go to the show notes, there's a whole bunch of complimentary free resources you can tap into. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss future content. As well, in the show notes, you can find out how you can get a complimentary retirement income plan. All the best in your retirement planning journey. You take care. Bye-bye.